just before um Christmas happened, bro. Um, Fireboy did this thing with um. Oh, the Peru remix, yeah. Ed Sheeran. Uh, well, what do you guys think about that? Trash. 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 Cause what the him jumping on it was trash, or the jam was trash. Uh, What's trash? I, I just wasn't feeling it, bro. I, and for some reason, yeah, I, I don't feel like Ed Sheeran was moving on this. You can. Stuff. I said it before, but I'm saying it again. This is a <coughs> cool just, entry, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting something. Guys fit on the track. I don't feel like they fit on the track. We're well, talking about Peru now, not the yeah. 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 Like, mm. Ed Sheeran doesn't fit. Bro, I, I bro, don't, don't the, see no the same way he felt about the same thing, the thing that you just said right now, exactly how I felt about it. I don't think that is a track. You know the way we said essence should have been left al- should have been left alone. Peru should have been left alone. Uh, to me, to me, I understand why it was done. Mm. I understand the look. It was a business decision, a good look for Fireboy. You get what I'm saying? But was it a good look though? Bro, I feel like it was more of a good look for Ed Sheeran than, Ed than Fireboy, bro, innit? What are yeah. you guys chatting about? That song was nice. Bro, song Ed Sheeran's verse, Ed Sheeran's, <coughs> Ed Sheeran's, Ed Sheeran's verse was, was to me was nice. Was no, 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 it no, was no. smooth. It added a, a whole different vibe to the song. Yeah. I listened to, it, I was like, no, yo, no, no. He's, that was a good remix. No, remix. no, no he's opinion. no, his his verse was good. His verse was good. I'm not saying that his verse was trash, but. I don't think it was needed in the song. But if it that's, was that, good, that's what I think. If it was good, then that's the whole point of what? music. Was was Justin Bieber's um, verse good in essence? It was lovely, bro. It was lovely. Yeah, Justin Bieber's. Justin Bieber's one. Yeah. What do you think? If I'm to pick between the two, I'll pick um, Peru. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, it was good. It was good on essence. Yeah, it was good on essence. Yeah, do you think it was needed? Because the the result we can see where it took the the jam. So what are you saying? Of course it was needed, bro, but, bro. But it wasn't needed in that 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 song. Thames, when you say it's needed, Thames yeah. and Whiskey was was perfect. When you say it's needed, yeah, it, it can be defined in so many different ways. True, true, true. Not just musically, you know, but for it to get to certain levels, yeah. that can be defined as it was needed too, and yeah. it did both. Musically, it was nice. It was good. No, it's a good music. And it reached levels too. So, mm. no, 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 no. It, it is a good music, right? But I don't think in the business of music, yes, it was needed. It's a different look, a different um, audience mm-hmm. for both Ed and Fireboy. You know what I'm saying? But the music itself. I don't think it was needed. The verse was good. Ed Sheeran did his thing. He always does, does his thing anyways. And to me, I love Ed Sheeran for that. Part of the reason why I love Ed Sheeran, right, is because even at the height where he is, he still comes down to... Yeah, he still fucks with everyone. everyone. Fuck with yeah. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't have to do it. You know what I mean? Even though, even though, oh, I've forgotten who I was having a conversation with, I said someone like Ed Sheeran, right, because they said, oh, will someone like Stormzy do that? Right? I said, you have to look at it from two different angles, right? Someone like Ed Sheeran and Adele, them people, they are already at a place of advantage. One, because they are white. Two, they are popsters and everything, right? So they can come down and mess with people here and not damage their brand and, not damage their brand and still go up, right? But someone like Storms in them or whiskey in them or all they can be, they have to be very, very calculative with their moves because they are coming from a place of disadvantage. But do you think that would really damage their brand like that? Who's that? Like um, Stormzy and you know, them black artists that are not on that same level as Ed, Adele and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not 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 on on on, 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 on like the, the Peru song. I'm just saying their moves yeah. generally. Oh, okay. okay. You got know what I mean? They have to be very, very calculative in how they move, some of the things they do, because they are they are coming from here to mm-hmm. there. While someone like Adele and all them people, you know, because of the advantage that, that they have, yeah. they are already here. You know what I'm saying? So we all know it's very, very hard to get here. 
and so easy to drop. Yeah, I think it applies to every top, top guy, though. It, it, you get to a stage where you can just come down and do any rubbish track with somebody and it's still all right. But if you're down there, you can, you're always going to have to calculate your move. I think it's, yeah. For example, for, for example, we, we can spin, spin that to hip hop. That's the reason why someone like Jay-Z, who is obviously up here, yeah, can, does yeah. not really mess with people, obviously, that are here. You know what I'm saying? But Lincoln Park is here though. Uh, true, true. In Arizona, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 that was a good look. Because that's a whole different audience in that. You get what I'm saying? So what are you saying Jay-Z cannot afford to no, 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 he, mess? No, he can afford. But someone like him, because he's so brand conscious. Mm, he wouldn't. And especially yeah, wouldn't. from where he comes from, right? He wouldn't do that. Mm, yeah. While someone like Eminem, who we can or I uh, agree that he's probably he's sold more than Jay Z. He's done like he's Eminem, mm. but he can afford to mess with people, and it won't damage Affect. his brand. But he still hasn't he hasn't really messed around with people down there like that though. He has though. He has. He's 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 done songs with like up and coming um like R and B artists. You know, up and coming rappers as well. Like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he's done songs with people that are quote unquote not on his level. Uh. You know what I'm saying? But we all still recognize Eminem. But I, I but I'm sure if someone like Jay Z starts doing song with like a little baby and all that kind of people, right? Everyone will be like, yo, ho, what are you doing? But how, why? How, how about why? that's that's how, bro. Why? That's it's, that's it's good you brought that up. Why though? That's people's see... that's people's perception of him. You, that's people. That's the way it's, it's people, people look at it. Do you think it's more people's perception, or it's it's what they don't want to put out there? Like maybe they are thinking more about their brand. Is the brand thing? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the, the brand, brand thing because because we all know that we we've seen the way someone like Jay Z is right. The way he's branded, he doesn't mess, mess around with so many people. You get what I'm saying? He doesn't mess around with so many people. So his value is high. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Um, Kendrick the same thing his value is high Stomzy the same thing Stomzy if you look at Stomzy the way he moves yeah, yeah. he does the same thing too he doesn't just jump on any track you know what I'm saying so his value is high that when he jumps on someone's track it's a big deal true true that you know what I'm saying but Adele is the opposite of Ed even though we can all argue that they are probably on the same level you get what I'm saying? But you you don't even see Adele. Mm. Like he she does not even have have um I'm, I'm like art um sort of like artists featured on her no, album yeah, and everything. Really, no, no. You know what I'm saying? So when she drops an album, mm. you get what I'm saying, you know, but someone like Ed, he still has that thing where he can come down, mess with you, boom, you get what I'm saying? But um with Fireboy. I believe that that song was just perfect. I I don't think it needed an ad on that song. Now it's a good look for him, but I don't think he needed him. You see with Ed Sheeran as well, yeah. You see how Afrobeats is really taking over the world at the moment. Mm. He's just got a different genre to know who he is. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Some of them don't. Yeah. Some of them don't. A lot of them. Like they transition over. Yeah. yeah. They like what they like. It's like Taylor Swift fans. Like they just love Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift and all that people. Yeah. And that's it. Whereas <coughs> more people, people who listen to Afrobeat, right? They're a lot more open minded to. To listen to other things. To other, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. So that's why I said it was gonna benefit Ed Sheeran more to jump on that track than it was gonna. Yeah. Benefit but. Other. But no, I'll give Ed Sheeran. I'm not so uh, sure about yeah, that. Yeah, I, I kind of disagree with that, though. I'm not it sure. I, I, I feel more, like it would benefit no, Fireboy I, I more. I think it benefits Fireboy more. The look. The look and everything. Because because I'm going to give Ed Sheeran a break here. Ed Sheeran has always messed with hip-hop, R&B. He's always, he's always been that dude. Even Afrobeats. He's, he, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he can be invited to, to, uh, um, to the fucking cookout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that, that's what I was going to say. You know what I'm saying? I think it boils down to the kind of person you are. He is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think he's that kind of dude. He's where, that guy. You know, he's that down to earth, messes proper, with everyone. Proper, proper, And I think sometimes it comes from where you're from. Yeah. Because he came from nothing. Yeah, he can relate in it. Ed used to... He used to stand on Oxford yeah. Street yeah, and yeah, then yeah. sing and then put yeah. guitars put, a, that, yeah. put a tin the on boss, the floor yeah. asking people to put money. That's where he started from. So when you start, and this was what? This was like 12 years ago. Yeah. So when you start from there and then you make it. You can relate. You can relate mm. to up and coming artists. You can relate. Bro, I've seen interviews where Ed Sheeran was rapping, like rapping, rapping. You get what I'm saying? Like lyrics and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like. It was, in, it was in the grime scene as well. Yeah, yeah it's you get what I'm saying? So, scene, yeah. so, which is why a reason why when he gets all this flack from Wiley, shout out Wiley and everything, I kind of don't agree with Wiley. Nah. There are people that I'll look at, I'll be like, all right, cool, that's a culture vulture move. But I don't think Ed is a culture vulture move, bro. Mm. Yeah, they're good. They're, I yeah. think they're they're friends. They were now, I think. You think so? Yeah, I think wow. so. All that Ed Ed slander yeah. is all. I don't think. I don't think it's real. Bro. Yeah, you don't think so. I don't think. I so. think it's real though. I think it's real. I think it's real. I think it's real. Yeah, yeah I, 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 like I think it's real. But but to me, Ed has always been good in my books, right? Because it, okay, cool. He's last like, couple of interviews, bro. He went to um shout to um. Chucky and them boys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he went to the Half Cast podcast. Yeah, 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 that. That's a big look for them, bro. Yeah, yeah. He went to the um ZZ Mills podcast as well. That's a big look for her. He didn't really have to. He didn't have no. to do it, if we're gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? But but you know, but them and they're big as well, though. ZZ, Chuck, Chuck, yeah. yeah. Half Cast is quite yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, but but I'm talking about going yeah. on there in the level that he is. It's the level out, that he's at. It's an outlet for him as well. I, but it's he out. But he didn't have to. That guy can go to to um like Apple, whatever, and promote his thing or whatever the case is. You get what I'm saying? Even though a conversation needs to be had, bro, the urban culture is where it's at right now, cuz. Mm. Mm. The urban culture is where it's at right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what anyone says. Burn all them pop. Whatever it is, the urban culture is where it's at right now. Mm. Hip hop, grime, Afro beats, everything. That's the urban culture. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is where it's at, man. For real, for real, for real. But shout out to everyone involved, man. Shout out to, to um, Fireboy, Ed, everyone, man. For real, no, man. But that was a good track. I like... Because going by your logic now, that means no track would need a remix then. No, that's not what I'm saying. Some some songs are perfect. Mm. Some songs are perfect. You don't, you don't get perfect songs every day. Essence is perfect. I feel like, but whenever you go, I mean, Peru is perfect. Whenever (laughs) is Peru perfect? I don't. Peru is perfect, bro. Yeah, crack. People are always gonna criticize it, bro. Crack. People will always say something about this. Magic. That that song is crack. (laughs) You hear it, you get addicted. Yeah, yeah. End off. Uh, I remember when I was in the club, the song came up, my brother. I played it for the, for the next <laughs> how many days? For people that don't know the song I'm talking about. <laughs> no, it's a tune. It's a tune, bro. It's a tune. <laughs> it's a tune. You see this right here? Crack. That opening as well. Let's 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 hear it, yeah. So you won't capture my solo, you won't capture my solo. What yeah, this guy did soul. was this guy, yeah, just threw crack into the streets. Everyone just got addicted to him, my <laughs> Yo, That's it. He should be jailed for that. <laughs> you hear me? We're going back to the crack pandemic. We're now, going yeah. back to the... <laughs> you got it. Wait, hold on. Is it pandemic or epidemic? 
epidemic. Actually. The epidemic, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it was just in America. They already, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, pandemic, no, no, pandemic is when it's worldwide. Come on, you can, you can look at it as a pandemic as well. Yeah, that was a trick question. Though, that was a trick question. I swear. You got him. I had to shoot him out, bro. You got him. He showed me earlier. I had to shoot him out, bro. You got him.